What's up, Tech Heart? I got a new product and it's a pretty cool one. A new Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. And these are pretty cool devices. It's an Android tablet. Most of you know I'm an iPhone guy, but I recently switched to a Samsung Galaxy telephone. Let's jump in and talk today about some cool features of the Galaxy Tab line of tablets, the A9 Plus, the S9, and others in this series. One really cool thing that they have is the ability to add more storage with an SD card. But a lot of people complain about that. You put an SD card into your tablet, it adds storage, but on Android 14, you can't easily install your applications to the SD card. So while you might have a bunch of pictures, videos, and other data that you can put on there, what we really want to do is use that SD card for physical storage for installing apps and whatnot. We're going to go over to the bench and I'm going to show you how to add an SD card and how to install applications onto that SD card so you can actually reap the benefits of this cool feature. Let's go guys. Okay, so here we are. We have the Galaxy Tab 9. We have a SIM card eject tool. And I have a 256 gigabyte SD card. First things first, let's power off the Tab A9 Plus. Hold down your power button and click power off twice. Bada bing! We'll search for our SIM card. You can see there's a little hole and grab your eject tool and stick it on in there. And out comes your SIM tray. If you can find the hole that is. If you don't have data, you may not have a SIM card. You just have a black piece of plastic here. At any rate, let's get our SD card and insert it into the SIM tray. You put the fat side down, and there's an indentation. You just want to seat it in there very good. You want to make sure all sides are pressed down and flush, like that. And now we can shove it back into our Galaxy Tab. Oh, let's try it. If I can find the hole, press in until it clicks, and make sure it's flush. Now you can power on your tablet again. And we'll let that boot up. Okay, there we go. Bob's your uncle. Now unlock your tablet, and I'm just going to show you one thing before I get into screen capture mode and show you the rest. This is one of them economy tabs. It's going to take its time, daddy-o. Here we go. Now let's go into settings. We'll swipe down and press the cog. There's the cog. Device care option. Click there. Then we'll click on storage. Once that pops up, we can swipe left on internal storage. And it'll show our new SD card. Mine's a 256 gigabytes. And Bob's your uncle. Now let me get the screen recorder going and I'm gonna show you how to get those applications installed to your SD card. Rock and roll, daddy-o. Okay, here we are in our device. So again, let's open up settings and click the cog over here. We're going to go down just under device care, click on apps. You can see all of your different apps that are installed here. Very few apps will install to an SD card. I know one that will is Amazon shopping. So I'll click on Amazon and you can scroll down here and click storage and you see this change button. You can click on the change button and select SD card, tap move, and that will move that application and its data files over to your SD card. Easy enough, right? Not so fast, hotshot. Let's go down to some of the Samsung apps that are installed on your tab. Just to show you, I'm gonna go down here to Samsung and we can try, I don't know, Samsung Checkout. And if we click there, and then we'll go down to storage. You don't see any change button. You'll probably notice that 90% of your applications cannot be copied over. And even after over the trick that I'll show you in a minute, the Samsung and some other Android apps still won't. 
Let me show you one other though. Let me go up here to Firefox. So we'll click Firefox and then storage. Again, there's no change button. Now, there's a trick to where we can get about 80% of our applications to copy to your external SD card. You'll have to put your device in developer mode. This does not root your device or void your warranty or anything like that, but it does give you extra features. So to get into developer mode, you scroll to the bottom and we're gonna look for about this tablet. And I think in here, we're gonna go to software information. Yeah, this section that says build number. If we tap that seven times, you will have turned on developer mode. If you notice on my tablet, it's saying developer mode has already been turned on because I've already turned on developer mode. After doing such, if you scroll all the way down, you'll now see developer options. Let's click there. And inside of developer options, you have many things that you can do, but we're gonna search for something called force, force allow apps on external. I'm just gonna tap that and it'll take me into the developer options right to that option. And let's turn force allow apps on external on. And that says makes any app eligible to be written to external storage, regardless of manifest values. Okay, what does that mean? Well, let's go back to our apps and let's go down to Firefox again. If you remember, Firefox was something that we could not copy over to external storage. But now if we tap Firefox and go to storage, you'll see there is a change button. You can select SD card and that'll put Firefox onto your external storage, baby. Now, as noted before, certain system applications, I assume like the Galaxy Store, we'll go down and click storage. These will not have an option to move to external storage, but now you'll find that 80 to 90% of all your applications can be moved over. You'll find things such as Samsung applications and Android applications, possibly some Google applications that you can't copy, but some apps you can. Let's go down here to Samsung. Yeah, it's Samsung Flow. So this Samsung app, can be saved onto external storage. So you'll go through all your apps and you'll find out that you can now copy about 80 to 90% of your applications over to SD card. I have Firefox on my SD card and you'll notice it fires right up. Bob's your uncle, baby.